In the previous tutorial, we have learned some of the basic commands. Link to previous tutorials playlist is given in the description and it will also show in the upper right corner of your video. Now in this tutorial, we will solve some exercises based on what we learn in previous tutorial. We will be creating this drawing, this drawing and this drawing. Let's start with first drawing. Now these drawings are in millimeter. Therefore we will be using a CAD ISO template. Click on a CAD ISO. Now in this drawing at first we will create one line of 450 length. Then we will place circles. Click on line. Give the first point. Take your cursor away. Give the length of 450, enter and enter. Then zoom this line. Then we will create these two circles of 22.5 and 45 radius. Click here on circle, center radius. Give the center point. Give the radius of 22.5, enter. You can repeat the last command by pressing enter, press enter, give the center point, give the radius of 45, enter. Then next is these two circles of 110 and 60. Press enter. Now these circles are at the midpoint of this line. Now it is not showing the midpoint. To make it show the midpoint, click here and click on midpoint. Click inside. Now take your cursor to the midpoint. Click there. Give the radius of 110 and enter. Again enter. Take the center point. Give the radius of 60. Enter. The next is 15 and 30 radius. Enter. Give the center point. 15. Enter. Enter. Center point. 30. Enter. Then we want to create tangent lines. Click on line. Then press shift right click and select tangent. Click on the circle. Again press shift right click. Click on the tangent. Click on the circle. Press enter. Enter. Then we can also choose tangent automatically. For that click on tangent. And cancel this center. Otherwise it will show center in place of tangent. Click on the circle. This circle. Enter. Enter. This circle. This circle. Enter. Again enter. Click on this circle and this circle. And press enter. Then we don't want these arcs. For that we will use trim command. Before that we don't want this line. We will erase it. Give E. Enter, select this line, enter. Then click on trim. Define all object as a cutting edges, press enter. Then click on the object you want to remove. And press enter. So this object is ready. Then next is this object. To start new drawing, click on this plus sign here. At first we will create this rectangle of 500 by 150 size. Click on line. Give the first point. Take your cursor away. Give the length of 500. Enter. And zoom the line. Take your cursor above. Give the length of 150. Enter. Then the length of this line is same as this line. Take your cursor to this point. Don't click there and take the cursor away then click click enter pan it zoom it then we will locate these lines by offsetting this line at first we will offset at 50 and 90 click on offset to create offset at variable distance click on this through option then select the object, 
take your cursor away give the length of 50 enter again select this line take your cursor away give the length of 90 enter then 100 60 and 90 click on this line give the length of 100 enter Click on this line, take it away, give the length of 60, enter. Again click on this line, give the length of 90, enter. So all the vertical offsets has been created. Then horizontal offsets, now it is at 55, then it is at 75 from bottom. Click on this line, take your cursor below, give the length of 55, enter. Select this line, take your cursor above, give the length of 75, enter. Then 45 and 30. Select this line, take it above, give the distance of 45, enter. Select this line, take it above, give the distance of 30, enter. Now all the offsets are created, press enter to stop the offset command. Now we will place the circles. Now this is circle of 50 and it is at a location of first line from this side and second line from the top and radius is 50. Click on circle. So here is the first line and second line from the top. Give the center point, give the radius of 50, enter. Then again enter. Next circle is 40. And it is on the third line and first line from the top. So here is the third line and first line from the top and radius is 40, enter. And this radius 30 on the second line. Enter here, 30, enter. Then this one on the third line. From the top and second from this side radius is 25 enter second this is the point click there give the radius of 25 enter then remove the unwanted lines for that click on erase and select these three lines and these four lines and press enter then we need one more circle at this point of 30 radius. Click on circle, give the center point, give the radius of 30, enter. Now trim the unwanted portion, click on trim, press enter and then select the object to be removed. And enter. Then we don't want this line, give E. Enter, select this line and enter. So this object is also ready. And next is this object. Again, click on this plus sign for new drawing. Now here we will create this circle of 180 radius. Click on circle, give the center point, give the radius of 180, enter. Zoom it. Now here this horizontal line is at a gap of 90 from this quadrant point. Click on line, take your cursor to this quadrant. Now it is not showing the quadrant, it is showing tangent. So click here and cancel this tangent and turn on this quadrant and center. Then take your cursor to the quadrant point. Don't click there, take your cursor down. Give the gap of 90 and press enter and create one horizontal line up to this intersection point. Click and enter. Then trim this portion. Click on trim, press enter and remove the unwanted objects. Press enter. Then next is to locate these points. A gap of 121.5 and 171. For this, we will create one vertical line. Click on line, take your cursor to the quadrant, 
don't click take it above then click and take it below and click press enter and click on offset then give the distance of 121.5 enter then select this line click on this side again select this object then give the gap of 171 and enter then we want this gap of 112.5 and 54 click on this line take your cursor above give the gap of 112.5 enter then select this line take it above give the gap of 45 enter then press enter then create the circles of 54 diameter and 45 radius click on circle give the center point give the radius of 45 enter then click on this arrow click on center diameter with the center point give the diameter of 54 enter then zoom it you want two vertical lines click on line click on this quadrant take your cursor below once it shows the intersection point click there enter enter click on quadrant take your cursor below click enter then it is unwanted lines for that give e enter and remove these lines enter then trim the unwanted portion click on trim enter and click on the object to be removed so this object is also ready so all the objects are ready that's all in the next lecture we will learn next set of commands after that we will solve some exercises also so thanks for watching we will stop here